Vectric version 12 just came out. And if you have upgraded from version 11.5 to version 12, then you're probably wondering where the draw curve tool went to. Did they just take it away or did it move somewhere? IDCwoodcraft.com. They took it away. But there is a bit of a draw curve tool function that is still available in the, ver the version 12 that was available in version 11 and 11.5. So I'm going to show you where this draw curve tool is at in the Vectric software that you can still use. But I'm going to tell you I don't like the way this one works over the other one and I'm going to show you exactly why. So we're going to get into version 12 and I'm going to compare it to version 11. So over here in the create vectors area we've got the second row we have a draw a polyline draw an arc freehand drawing and then you have the other two vectors now right next to the draw arc tool was the draw curve tool i'm going to go over to version 11.5 and show you it's right there that's the draw curve tool now this is a tool that i use all the time and some of the other creators I've talked to, they use it all the time too. And they're a little disappointed that this little tool went away. Now I'm going to show you where you can use draw curves at. And I'm going to show you why this other way you can use it just isn't very effective or creates some issues. So let's get into the draw curve tool first. So we've got a picture here of my girlfriend and me, Sarah. And... Sometimes what I like to do is I'll take a picture and I'll just draw around a picture. Uh, normally don't do her, I just like look at her. But we're going to go into Vectric uh, version 11.5, select the draw curve tool. And basically what I will generally do in other images, and I do this all the time, not just in images, but I also do it in other projects that I work on, I just want to create my own little flare. So what we'll do is we will, well, I'm not going to do it on the image. I'll just do it up here so we can see it. You'll click the start button on this. Oh, we're going to turn snaps off. So just going to turn them off real quick. We start the line, then we click it again and we get the straight line. Now, just remember we're in the draw curve tool. You can tell that by looking at the cursor. It's got the little squiggly line right, right above the plus. When I click that again, we get this curved line, and then we can continue to do that and get a very customized line. And the way that I use that a lot is around images. So I'm just going to draw around Sarah here, and I'm going to click, and I'm just tracing the outline of her face just like that. And this is generally how I'll use the draw curve tool. Now I'm going to start that over again and we'll just do this right over the eye. It's a very uh, unique way of doing it. And so we have this little corner in the eye and I'll just click many times to get a nice smooth turn on that eye. And this is where we use the draw curve tool all the time. So we're going to end this part and we're going to go over to version 12. And we come up to the icon menu and the draw curve tool is not there. So how do you get draw curves? Well, in both version 11, 11.5 and version 12, you can do the draw curve under the polyline tool, but it's just not as effective. We're going to click the polyline tool or the draw straight line tool. And so we start that off and we know this is a polyline tool when we look at the cursor and it's got the zigzag cursor on it right above the little plus sign or the target where we're actually starting our line at. When I click and move somewhere, click again, move somewhere, and I create all these straight lines. But now when we click our left mouse button and hold and start to move away, we have now started into a draw curve mode. And then we would let that go when we wanted to end that. What it's doing is grabbing a little flag right here, or it's creating a little flag. I'm going to hold the left mouse button again and drag out. And you can see I'm dragging this flag out, and that's creating our curve. And I want to let go. It does that again, and I can keep doing that. But the trick is you have to hold the left mouse button and start to move it away from the line or the point at which you're starting the next line. And you have to hold that mouse button until you get the curve that you want. But here's where the, the big issue comes in. 
Sometimes we don't remember to hold the mouse button down to create that line. So you're going to watch. I'm going to create this next part of this curve and I click it and we finish off that curve and then I come over again and now I go straight back into a straight line. So this creates an issue for me when I want nothing but curves. When we're working around contours, I will dot, 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 dot with the draw curve tool. But if I forget to hold the mouse button in the polyline tool, then I've lost my, my curve. And then I have to go back and I have to either undo that part of the line, uh, control Z, and you can hit control Z to back yourself up just like this. I'm going to create new lines. I hit control Z. So now I've got that going. I'm going to hit control Z, control Z, control Z. And now I have to back up and start at that new point again and try to find that. I actually have to control Z one more time. And I, I keep backing up in this straight line. So when I draw a curve, it's creating all these funky curves. Control Z. So what, what's going on here is we've lost a lot of control over the draw curve tool. So this feature at least is still somewhat available. In this case, I'm going to start again with Sarah. I'm going to use the polyline. We're going to try to trace around her face using this draw curve tool. And I have to be a lot more careful. And it's actually taking more time than what I want. And now I've got this flag. I have to hold this flag. I'm actually having to control this when I don't really want to and didn't need to with the draw curve tool before. And then if I forget, then now I've gone back to a straight line. And let's see. And then, yeah, so it's just one of these things where you have to do one extra step every time instead of selecting the, the tool. Now, we're going to go back to version 11.5 and go into the polyline function. And I'm going to show you that you can do the same exact thing. We're just clicking the straight lines. And then if I hold the mouse button down, now I can start to create a draw curve. And we're going to do that multiple times. I can control the flags. I control the length of the, of the curve. But we can't always do that when we're tracing images. The draw curve tool has been removed from version 12. Now, I'm going to bet that enough people are going to complain about this, including me, because I use it so much that Vectric will eventually put it back in. I'm not sure what the reasoning was behind it. Maybe they didn't realize how many people actually use the draw curve tool. So at least you know that you can still use something of a draw curve function in the Vectric software. But if you use it a lot, then maybe send them a message, ask them to put it back in, and we should be good to go. So that's what happened with the draw curve tool in version 12. They literally removed the draw tool, the draw curve function. If this video is helpful, give, it a, give you at least a, a, a way to use the draw curves, then please give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be creating a lot of videos in version 12 since there's no version, no videos out there now. IDCwoodcraft.com.